So I just launched the VVDI prog application and navigated to the chip and I noticed that I was wrong earlier when I said we're going to go to the VVDI prog and choose 2M. Actually here there is no choice. I cannot pick this one or that one. This is just information stating that it covers those masks. So this right here it covers those masks, including the one we're dealing with. So right here, those are the two that I highlighted earlier. So we cannot just choose this one or that one by going, by choosing this option, it's going to cover, it should cover all these masks. So that by itself is against what uh, CG Pro support is telling me. Now after choosing the uh, the chip we go to connection diagram and we have the uh, which adapter we're going to use the MC9S12 cable and when we click here we're gonna see the pinout. Zoom in and this is ours and right away we see something different. We see that the pinout is different than the auto and the CG Pro. Now, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys, let me, let me switch back to the other computer. Now, ironically speaking, this is the, their ad, their main page and their ad for the tool. And if you go down, as I mentioned before, It has the, like, this is the BMW CAS4. This is the BMW uh, Porsche BCM. This is, this is what we're working on, except the chip is different. I didn't send them this picture because, again, because the chip is different. And you notice here, the uh, pinout is, they have pinned it on, on the board itself, not on these pins. So I'm not sure if this will be the same as the VVDI Prog. Um, we can compare it definitely, but I just wanted to mention that. Let me go back to the other PC and follow up with the VVDI Prog. I think I got everything. So let's try to read. Um, we're we reading first the D flash is highlighted here and we're going to read please confirm the chip type and connection click yes to continue Read one more time Okay, um, we need to read those messages. Let's do again. Here it says, check in initialization, successful read and chip, initialization chip. Please confirm the chip type and connection. Click yes to continue, yes. And then we get now good read. Um, uh, let's double check the connection. All right, I double checked my wiring. I try to read the uh, P flash, e EEPROM or D flash. Nothing worked, but I noticed something. I'll show you guys. So we don't get a read, right? So we go down to the log. We have chip is uh, crypted. This operation need to be need to decrypt. Um, now I want to try one experiment. Let's disconnect a power. I think this is a main power and let's try to read to see what message we get when we try to read it that way. So we don't have a read, but do we have a new message? 
and the log. No, same thing, id ff, I'm not sure what is that. User select, yes, id ff, initialize chip. Okay, our next is to try to read it unsecured and unsecured is covering pretty much the same masks that secured cover and let's go to connection same um, not the same we have less contact points we need ground ground power and reset that's all So I disconnected the extras and let's try to read. Um, read it. Well, this is different. Let's see if we get a good read. We don't have anything, all Fs. Close it, close it, let's try to read again. Try frequency, blah, blah, blah. There is an error in red, I don't see it. Let me go back to the previous read. Oh, try frequency, zero, zero, failed. What does it say? Check device, 12 volt power adapter connected, initialize device, initialize success, initialize chip, try auto detect frequency, and then it fails. Try frequency failed, zero, zero. Okay, um, let's try to read the D flash. I assume it's the same thing. Yeah, that's the same thing. E prom. E prom read. Same thing. No good read. So, <laughs> all three devices failed so far. I didn't expect that, to be honest with you. I mean, at least I thought the CG would be the winner among them. Um, let's try to read first, P flash, read. Chip is scripted. Okay, so let's try to unblock. Confirm unlock the chip. Yes. So chip uh, crack failure, please confirm that the chip type and connection right then try again. Hmm. Here it says to use unlock, unlock chip, the original security by displays in the window below, read write D flash. I don't think it's going to read anything now. Okay, and I noticed one thing here in the diagram, it says disconnect this pin from PCB. That's why I tried it again, because I did actually desolder that pin, lift it up. I don't know if you guys see it here, you see how it's lifted and twisted right here. So it's not touching the one next to it. 
It's too close to it, but it's not touching it. And um, yeah, as I said, I soldered these three and I used the PC Byte probes for the other ones. And no luck, no luck on this chip. I am back to the CG Pro and I wanted to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly. Now, one thing I noticed that I did wrong was here it says those two do not lengthen these two items without uh, authorization. Otherwise, it may affect the decryption. Now, our, our problem is the decryption. So I wanted to go back and just do it the way I was supposed to do it, which is use this harness and without using those extensions or the probes and just solder them to the uh, points based on this diagram right here based on this so everything is soldered and uh, let's go back and choose in here see when when we do decrypt it says not match to mask do you want to continue I don't think this popped before so let's do OK chip ID FFFF we had a decryption timeout uh, error at the end we'll see if that's gonna happen but the fact that the software gave us that message that means the software is detecting that the chip that we're uh, hooked up on is different than our ch choice our choice would 2M25J the chip is 3M25J okay same thing decryption timeout I don't think it's gonna be able to read let's do read EEPROM okay it is decrypted D flash read it see with the D flash however D flash showing both of them 2M25 and 3M25J see if it's going to be read the D flash. Again, decryption timeout, P flash. Yeah, same thing. Well, um, I thought that not lengthening those two um, uh, wires was going to give us a different um, results. However, it didn't. Now, with that new message popping up about the different mask, now I kind of go back to believing the support that because of the mask is not being able to decrypt it so I'm definitely gonna read a couple of more chips with this CG Pro before I decide whether to keep it or not but um, I'm definitely not impressed with their support uh, we'll see if if I ever use it on on two different um, modules or chips or whatever, and I have any problem, I will share it with you guys. Uh, other than this, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it was boring, kind of boring, but I was learning while doing this video, and I hope that you guys learned something with me. Uh, same thing with the VVDI Pro. It's so popular that I don't think I'm gonna return it. I'm gonna keep it regardless. 
um, and we'll see what we are gonna use it in the future if you're not a subscriber of this channel please subscribe hit that little notification be notified about videos like this I really appreciate it thank you guys so much now it is one o'clock a.m. have a wonderful morning